Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of inscription. So we're going to, I'm just going to play, uh, and then this is going to be broken up however it may be broken up. Because I don't quite have an idea of how I'm going to be editing this. Oh, obviously I'm going to cut out the long moments where I'm hemming and hawing over the decisions I make. Because I will do that. But either way, so what I'm expecting is that there could just be one or two videos of this per week just to give me, give, give me some room to breathe basically in order to edit these properly <laughs> or not feel like I have to make three videos per week or something like that. So either way, with the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. With hip hop, hip and hop and wave. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, what? Hmm? What the? That, that looks like a computer to me. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the human air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. And I just have the finger thing. What is this? You encountered a small outpost in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. <laughs> Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelt. Here's what I can offer. Grizzly! <laughs> I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Okay, well, first off, possum's out. Alpha! The curious... Alpha, eh, eh. <laughs> Oh my god. The mole looks terrifying. I know this is like its nose, but that looks like an eye. And so it looks... What? Wait, what is this? Oh, hi, you're not gonna explain what the symbol is? I mean, obviously the grizzly bear sounds like it would be a good decision. Now, it does take three blood sacrifices, which may or may not make it difficult to play, but I am also going to be encountering grizzly bears as I go through this. <sighs> the enemies are going to get harder. I can train you. Okay. Okay, here goes, because I was still... So what is this? Burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. That is interesting. So it's another... So it's a body block type thing. Which could be useful in certain situations. Ooh. I was thinking about this mole, sorry. It's again trying to weigh the blood sacrifice. Because clearly what I can tell right now from my hemming hawing is that I tend to not want to have to make the sacrifices, but I do at times feel like I got to make them. That said, this was just simply a body block. I don't know. It's that or I'm biding my time to place a bigger card. So the idea is for this one, potentially, you sacrifice a squirrel card that you have in your hand, instantly put that down as a body block, and then the minute you can get another squirrel, and essentially if you have one of those two, two sacrifices, you can sacrifice the mole, sacrifice the draw card from the squirrel, and then put down whatever offensive card, uh, um, offense card you have. Not offensive, but offense. <laughs> So that is one way to play the mole, the way I see it. The grizzly, again, 
if based on my things just means that I will have to okay well I have to ignore these because these don't count the so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I have twelve cards the mole sounds interesting I don't know this is conventional this is my imagined play that you can use with use this with because there's plenty of things okay the sacrifice can screw me over but we'll do it we'll go with the grizzly Oh, I can have, oh, one for one. I thought it was two for one. Never mind. we are going to take you both. Man, it's been all that time talking about it. <laughs> These pelts are my most excellent. Thanks. Okay, what the, what's this? Okay, sorry. I'm going to walk around just to get an idea of what I do need to be doing again. Now, I'm going to assume, so this is the hour hand, 666, <laughs> I think I already tried that. Yeah, and unless I know, I have an idea of what time I should be putting this, this is the book going to have it? I wonder. Oh, I thought I already grabbed this, but I guess where automatically save. Where automatically save is different. Okay, hi. I shall put this right here. Give me the knife. Thank you. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. No, you may wish that you had it. Thanks, dude. <laughs> uh, any notions about the... The weird thing is, there doesn't seem to be that many puzzles in this room. So I got all of those now. Okay. Let's sit down. So we can... I have two of three items. We can empower... Or imbue something, which I, I like the cards that I have. And I don't know what this is. Oh, I should pay attention, though. So this goes to... What's this? Oh, boy. Okay, so if I take the knapsack route, I'm heading toward uh, air sigil. So they can just pass over my, my, um, my cards and hit me. I... Do not know what that is, which makes me curious. I don't know what this is either. I'm okay. There is another knapsack up there, so we're gonna go this way. I just want to see if this is anything. What is this? You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You in in intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Oh no! <laughs> How's this face changed? Oh no! There's no way to back out, huh? This is what I get for like, ah, I'm curious! Okay, how many wolves do I have? Wolf. You know what? Sorry, dude. I don't really care about you. I'm sacrificing you. I'm so sorry. I didn't know what X meant. You callously slaughtered the possum. Do I get anything out of this? However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. You shook off the viscera of the poor possum and carried onwards. Oh no, I got his blood all over me. I'm sorry. 
I didn't. I just wanted to see what the X was. Okay, well, let's not do that again. <laughs> okay. Greetings. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. <laughs> Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get this things back to normal. Okay, I'm very curious. Are you changing more back to your... your human self? Okay, let's see our cards. We have to be airborne again. One more. Yo, spider, go away. Uh, one one. So obviously the stout would be the best play. And eventually I can play this guy. Actually, I can play both guys. Bad play. How would I supposed to know? Cracking. See, you're you're the most positive guy or girl, you could be a girl following though, ever. You on the other hand, I have no idea why. Either way. See it's so hard to tell because he got hit, but his his heart's still three. Uh, hold on. It's another B. Oh, crap. <laughs> Attack one, one each side. Okay. Put down the wolf. <laughs> Nothing else I can do. Okay, but I was able to get through just on pure. <laughs> <sighs> Makes me nervous. River snapper, rattler. The inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. Interesting. So it body blocks, but then it gives you a card. One blood sacrifice. Okay, that's actually. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, airborne. Okay. Um, this sounds interesting to me, so let's uh, choose this one, because I got the river. I got the river snapper already. I, wait, do I have you? Or do I did I kill you? Oh, never mind. I don't have you. But we already have enough cards that require two healths. Two sacrifices. So beehive. Alright. Let's go to the knapsack. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. In the pig. Well, I don't really have that many bone. Could always use a squirrel. <laughs> Could always use a squirrel. Okay. So we got more bees again. This is the the dominance of the bees. Okay, we can play this one. This is the only one we can play, really. But it lets me, when a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and the card bearing the sigil moved to the right. Okay. I mean, let's be real. I'm going to be sacrificing this guy, probably, maybe. It's hard to say. That or I use the squirrel card right away and put down the. Queen Ant. What does the Queen Ant do again? An ant is created in your hand. A 
That's not a bad one. Okay. Let's just try to go with the skink, I guess. Let's see how it plays out. Yeah, so... Go away! <laughs> the bee... I'm gonna place... The bee's gonna... Hmm. You only have... You're one power, right? Damn. I don't want to use the squirrel thing right away. I just got it. So let's just try this out. This could be a bad play. I don't know if it makes sense for me to... Like, why let it get injured if it's going to move anyway? Because, yeah, so... It could be a bad play. We'll see. I might be sacrificing the skink anyway, so... <laughs> I'm gonna take two hits. Ooh. Okay, let's put the elk down. Yeah, I'm getting hit with too much power now. Oh, the mole. Damn. I should have played the squirrel card then. Because unless I can hit with more power... This is not going to have any power, though. I might have to just take the fall for this. Or... You know what? I never... To use... To the user, you will place a weight on the scale. The pain is temporary. Okay. This is going to be... These all guys... All these guys do one power. I don't know if it's worth it. I could. It might just be best to take the hit. It's gonna place down the cards. That one's gonna go away. I'm gonna take three, even if I uh, sacrifice myself, so to speak. Okay. It's body block then. Expecting to use this so soon. At the very least, see if I can block the. Oh, damn. How disappointing. I haven't quite lost yet. Yeah, that was just some bad plays on my part. I have the most exquisite pelts. How many teeth do I have? I don't have that many. Duh. One. First one's free. Boop, boop, boop. What? I don't get how you say the first one's free and then like, oh, I always screw that up. Or I feel like I keep screwing it up. I completely wasted that because I didn't realize he said the first one's free, so I was like, okay, I'll just click this. And then it went away. I guess I said, maybe I just need to save my teeth up for the big, big one. Okay. So is a power or health? Health. Warmer creature by the fire. Enhance its health. And said a hungry survivor. <laughs> nope. Choose wisely. So which one do I want to enhance the health with? What's this one again? When the empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil would move to that space to receive the strike. 
That's not a bad one to have a good amount of health with. Of course, it depends how many cards are on the board, so to speak. I never actually got to play this card yet, I just realized. <laughs> Is this a wise choice? Who knows? The fire warmed the wary mole and enhanced its health. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your mole in tow, you retreated into the woods. Okay, well they didn't seem that hungry for the mole. Ah, the airborne sigil. Am I going to die? Please no. <laughs> Okay, what's my squirrel, beehive, and the skink? Where am I? Oh my god. Two coyote. Damn, two power and a coyote. But one health. Moose to the right. So I don't know if I want to play that one. That's the thing. Can't play the stink bug. I do want to take this one out right away just because it has the most power. That said, this one can hit me directly. What the? Wait, what is this? Waterborne. A card bearing the sigil submerged itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures... While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Okay, that is weird. Oh, I also, I also see... They lose one power. I cannot play any of these cards in front of them. So it has to be... I have to go for the coyote first. So... I can't play you. Wait, I can play you. I will be able to because... And then you'll... Okay, I can play the stink bug then. Right? No, okay, sorry. I'm just serious. I'm kind. I'm curious what's gonna happen. Oh. Oh, you know what? I should put that. Oh no, that was dumb of me. I should put that one there. Oh no, wait. Yeah, no. I should put this one there. Too bad you can't move. Yeah, once you make a decision, once you place the card down, you can't move it, which is really unfortunate. That was a that was a that was a bad misplay on my part. Crap. How do I Oh, I really wish I could reverse the decision to put this here. I want to move this, but I can't. I need to move this. Because this makes no sense to put this here. Damn it. Oh, that really... That that screwed me over. And that's submerged. Okay, so now I got a B here. Sparrow, two hearts. Okay. Mole. Which... It's not gonna help with airborne, honestly. Okay, well the stink bug, for sure, has to go here. Masterful? Yeah, thanks, but... Thanks, buddy, but I don't know... <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work out. 
be... No matter what, this is... See, this is the problem. Unless I have something that's more than one power, which I don't... Yeah. Oh. That was some unfortunate misplays on my part. I don't know how well I still would have done either way. Because I'm not sure if the cards I got at the beginning there weren't really helping me <laughs> at all. Stay there. No need to move. I'm afraid you're not dead yet. Hold still. Okay, so this is the part where we can lose cards. <laughs> oh, we tried to take a picture. <laughs> Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Elk. Oh no, I don't want to choose my six elk. Ugh. My poor aunt. <laughs> you, I'm sorry. It's, I, I... Uh, one cost, a cost of one blood from the worker ant. Power and health. Uh, we're gonna meet the trapper anytime soon? Now choose a card from which we'll extract the sigil. A, sig a sigil of mighty leap from the bullfrog. Uh, well, we're just gonna... <laughs> this is... this is my... my name. <laughs> I never did ask your name. Well, that's... that's the name I have for that round, so... One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Your visage, I'm sorry, you should probably be visage. Say cheese. sucks is when you put down the card and you know you've made the mistake right away and so you can't do anything about it fresh blood perhaps yours will make it farther than the foot of a totem knock on wood it seems the lowly stunt bug has made its way in but it is dealt so it stands what I'm sorry, are we like starting straight from the beginning? No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. We're still like coming to new things. Huh? The elk? The apothecized goat, the truest offering, sacrificing it grants three blood. A randomly chosen, hooved card. Do you wish for something else? I'll take it. That's not, especially if I have the grizzly bear in hand. <sighs> Let's continue on. An ancient woman emerges from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them briskly. Choose. Oh, the submerged? 
We're born, cards bearing the sigil submerge itself. I mean, that's cool and all, but then that means I'm getting hit. <laughs> a card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space. See, that sounds nice. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are rewarded instead of one. I do like the sound of this one. It sounds like it's left and right, so is that like two hits at the same time? A bifurcated strike. And we. <laughs> that's what the squirrel head goes on to. Okay. <laughs> the old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem is complete. The bifurcated strike sigil will now be marked upon all squirrel creatures. Oh, man. So the squirrel doesn't matter then. <laughs> I wasn't aware what the hell this was going towards. <laughs> Lucky draw. Salutations. Okay, so we've got the sparrow. Okay, so this is the one where it'll move in either direction. So, it's gonna hit me and then it's gonna move this way. So, I do not want... Oh, the stump is on their side. So yeah, if anything, I'm gonna have to, no matter what, take the hit here. <laughs> this is such a useless card. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. Unless there's another squirrel thing that I don't know about. You have... Yeah, I can only play you. You're gonna go down one health, but you are gonna take out the guy later on, so... I need you. <laughs> yep. It's the only thing I can do. Okay, the stink bug. I just realized I have another... I mean, I feel like I... Should I just play this totem? Okay, I'm actually... I'm gonna draw another card. Because I don't know... Can this actually move? Oh, no, wait, it's stuck there. So, I might as well play... If anything, I should play the bowl card. Because it can't move. And it blocks... And it blocks too. One, I can put you down here. I feel like I should wait. Shall we? Another sigil thing? I, I do like the look, look at this guy. <laughs> the dauntless bloodhound. It leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. When, sorry, let me think. I know I've read this before, but when an opposing creature is placed. Mm. 
Okay. So this one will move around, basically. Sure. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. This makes more sense. Well, oh my god. This? With the squirrel? Yeah, this is why I want with the squirrel. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I do not want to go against the air. Oh, wait. Oh, what's that? See, I feel like... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Is this the Prospector? Hell no. Okay, we're going the Airborne Sigil. The... I'm not. If that's the Prospector again, no thank you. Lucky draw. Somebody got... Of course it's a wolf. <laughs> I got the black goat. If anything, I can take that hit. Put this card down, take the hit, and then it also blocks hitting me. You know what the hilarious thing about this is? <laughs> I have like unnecessarily an unnecessary amount of blood being <laughs> being blood here. Can I? I mean, there's no point of me putting the black goat down. Oh wait, I haven't turned it on yet. So if I feel the need to. Okay, what I got the alpha and powers behind. Okay. Ooh, excuse me as I think about this. I need the squirrel in order to play the stink bug. And I do have... Do I have? No, I don't have another squirrel. Because there's no point putting down the, the goat, right? Okay, hold on, let me think about this. He's gonna kill that one. Then that plate card is gonna be placed down. It's gonna get rid of the... Ooh, but then I can decrease it to one power. So I could let just... Let this play out. Grab... Stout. Okay. Oh, the stink bug. I have, I, have two, I have two right there. So... Yeah, let's... Play this... Alright. Hold on, let me think about this. Yeah, so grab a squirrel card. I know you want me to use ya, but I'm saving you, okay? Masterful, I know. You always say that. It makes me feel very happy. Sure? I mean, I need to put something down, okay? The wolf. Okay. <laughs> is there... Is there anything I can do? I can see... No, no, we're gonna continue with this. There's really nothing else we can do. We're just gonna pick up these cards. Cause I can't, I don't have room to place it, anything else down. <laughs> pick up a 
card. <laughs> I just want to see how many teeth I can get. I feel like you always want to play till the very end to see how many teeth you get. The Bountiful Warren. It spawns a rabbit when it's played. A rabbit? How much is a rabbit worth? Oh. The Proud Wolf. A vicious contender. The Fervent Mantis. Its praying claws strike both to the left and to the right. Okay. Uh, when the card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. So, weird. <laughs> it's it's like a double body block, but then a body block where you have to sacrifice one blood. So I don't know. I feel unash. I, I, I don't feel. How many, what the cards do I have? I mean, mm. it's possible to just use it as a. Okay. This sounds like the most useful card to me. What is that? Like, is that a tooth? Do I, if I grab this, do I also grab a tooth? I think I, do I still have the squirrel in the jar? If I do, that's helpful. Fortunately, I lost the grizzly, didn't I? Ugh. Building my deck back from square one. Okay. I wish I knew. Is there anything else to this? I can't click on these. These aren't clickable. Nothing yet, anyway. I was wondering, I'm like, I don't think I've seen this here before. Or teeth? Okay. Those teeth keep showing up. Are they just constantly replenishing? Constantly replenishing? Can that, like, give you an extra- wait. That did something there. What else can I do? Literally, it's just like, what new clickable thing is in this room? I don't recall that skull there from last time, so... Okay, I'm just gonna have to come back to it, I guess, because there is nothing for me to do. Not from what I can tell. The bonfire thing always feels like a safe bet. Okay, so health. <laughs> do as you must. Please no. It's always interesting to me that he always... He just does not want to be involved. I can put down my wolf. What is the wolf? Three power? Yeah, they're both two. An opposing car. When the opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. But I think the wolf. <laughs> Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your wolf. I wonder if there's ever a point where your card's gonna get eaten. 
squirrel. Tiger club. a body block okay so we have the wolf there I can take it down with a wolf Is this thing just active all the time? Can I technically place down this card? No. Saying it's our card two blood sacrifices. I just realized on the side here two of those things show up. Yes, I think you got me this time. Yeah, it's fine. No, we're gonna we're gonna continue with this. Yeah, they're just it counts as one. Does it count as one no matter what? Oh, I thought I had to activate the sigil. I am so thrown off by that, honestly. <laughs> you had nowhere to go. <laughs> ah, the poor thing. Sure, why not? You you can take down you can take down the boulder. <laughs> Unfortunately the squirrel. I'm okay, so that's weird. This symbol makes me feel nervous. I do not want to go that way. Or is this the Oh, oh wait, but this is the imbuing thing. Let's go this way. I don't know how I feel about the viewing thing. Okay, yeah, so this is the... But the side, the cost that, that you wish to pay. Health. Decide the cost with which you pay. I'm going to sacrifice. I don't have... Okay. And this will turn into a... The nascent fawn, it quickly grows into an elk. A random card with the cost of one. What were you expecting? I thought you said I could make my own choice after... You can change your mind? That's fine. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. What in the world? Insect? The elk. I have an elk. When the card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. I feel like, okay, it's like pick one of these. I would want this for later on, for sure, assuming that I can eventually, but the squirrel, <laughs> you gotta keep the squirrel. You hunch down to place her offering in her, in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. And you take off your mask. <laughs> it's like magic. 
Okay, so I did start off again, sort of. I mean, I was sort of playing at the beginning, but... I'm starting the card game again, but the environment here has changed. I don't have everything I need to... Also, they're still introducing new gameplay elements. Okay, here's a prospector. God, this is not gonna go well. Yeah, boss battle. Smoke. A chill mist closed in around you. You are not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way, old me gold. Be darned. Great draw. <laughs> it's always great when it's you, right? Okay. I think this is the time. What's this one again? When the card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are rewarded instead of one. It's one health two. So that is not a bad play. A bit of a body block. As well, I will get four bones out of that. And then... If I can sacrifice, if I can use the squirrel... And get right away... Okay. I think... So, I don't know, like, because when I did this... Okay, so it counted. It 100% just counts. Okay. Just to act as a body block? Two power. I need one. Okay, I'm gonna place you here. Yeah, <laughs> you always say good play. <laughs> no matter what, I'm putting all my cards down now. Anything else? Oh, he forgot he needed to do that. Bastard. I struck gold. At the very least, I want this guy here. Like, I don't have any other... Three... Two... I feel still the wolf would be my best play. And then I can't do anything else, right? Dog against dog. My mule and her back. When the card bearing the sigil damages another. Okay, when it damages another. 
Oh, right, it's my turn to draw a card. Uh, let's just draw another card because. <laughs> Again. Okay, hold on. 1 1. I don't know if he's gonna play any other card. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna take out this one. So, yeah, I think it'll be fine to play the Coyote. I have so many. <laughs> Now the wolf again. Okay, I think we're good to... That was a lot of teeth. Let me relight your candles. Just one candle. It's just one candle. Very well. You may choose a rare card. A rare card which I didn't get to play last time. The filthy feral hog. It becomes incensed when its chimes are struck. I have no words for this freak of nature. What? The strange larva is back. Okay, what is this? Bellus, when the card bearing the sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as... Oh. That's a nice body block. Not gonna lie. This one, though. That's not a bad one to have. And if I have the squirrel... I'm gonna be getting a lot of bones, right? <laughs> I re I'm mostly... I really like the fact that he goes like this freak of nature. I'm like, whoa! What was that? Okay, I'm gonna have to go with the long elk if I play this right. It should be fine. Right? <laughs> oh, please don't make a dumb move. Okay, I don't have to read this again because it's the same thing every single time. 